Now, what, what is it that you tell your patients to expect uh, after the hemicap surgery? Long term, what we're looking for is pain decrease. Now, I can't promise every single one of them they're going to be pain free. Um, I would say 90% are totally pain free. Um, the ones that still have some pain, though, are very happy with it. They went from a you know, seven or eight on the pain scale to a one or two. Um, the other thing is the motion. Um, I tell all my patients up front, just kind of as my baseline, they're going to have about 10 degrees more motion than what they had preoperatively guaranteed. Um, and that's independent whether they do their range of motion exercises and the things they need to do. If they do their motion and really push and do what they're instructed or could participate with their physical therapy, then I expect normal motion compared to you know anybody with a normal joint or somewhere very close to it. Any limitations on activities that they could do after the procedure? I have no limitations on my patients at all. I've got you know, a 40 year old guy who's run two marathons. Um, the way I look at it, it's a non-load bearing implant. You know, it's a, the forces that go through there are more of a shear force. You know, the first med head is still absorbing the weight, but there's not that much weight going through the actual implant itself. Um, it doesn't wrap around plantarly um, where the sesamoids articulate on it, other than at the very end range of motion at toe off. So there is a little bit of load bearing at toe off, but through the rest of the gait cycle, there's really not, especially at impact. Yes, I, when I when I talk to them about this preoperatively, I'll um, I'll discuss with them what their expectations are. I think that's probably the, the main um, the main issue in terms of whether you're going to get a patient that uh, has is well satisfied with the procedure or not. So you have to match their expectations. So, um, uh, you know, I have had a lot of patients that have done very very well with this. I've had a few that ha haven't, and uh, so I, when I talk to them about it, I, I say uh, to them that. Uh, our goal here is to improve your pain, right, pain relief, and, and preserve or improve some of your motion, okay? Um, so if, if they understand that uh, they can go from a pain level of 6 or 7 or 8, and if they're happy knowing that I may be able to reduce that to a 1 or 2, but still keep their motion, um, and they're okay with that, then they, they would be somebody in that subset of patients that would be a good candidate for this because they have that expectation that they may have some degree of pain left but nowhere near what they had preoperatively, yet they preserve their motion. Um, if they're not okay with that, if they feel that they want complete pain relief, then, um, then a fusion may be a better procedure for them. Um, but have that same patient oftentimes is a patient that doesn't want a fusion. So they're, you know, you're, you're left with that. So you have to really talk to them ahead of time whether they're a right candidate or not for it. When I, when I explain to my patients is I tell them if they uh, have ever had a knee replacement or if they know anybody who's had a knee replacement, I think the recovery is very similar. Uh, I tell them your toe is going to be swollen, stiff, and sore for the first six weeks. Um, but the more you use it and the more you work with it, the quicker the swelling will go down, the quicker the stiffness will go down, and the happier you'll be. And anybody who knows anybody who's had a knee replacement, uh, the first couple weeks, they're, they're thinking, you know, uh, did I do the right thing? But by six weeks, they're running around like mad people. I, I, I tell them, it's, it's an arthroplasty. It's, you, you know, it's a partial, it's a resurfacing of the joint. It's going to be a little swollen and stiff. But if you work with it, you do your rehab, um, you will get better. And by six weeks, I have absolutely no limitations on my patients. They can run, jog, do whatever they want. I'd like to add, too, that about in terms of the pain relief, I, I feel that um, uh, I expect, anticipate that the pain relief will improve now with the, with the new design and also with um, uh, things that we've learned throughout this course of treating these patients about bony decompression and soft tissue releases. So I expect that um, our early results or er earlier series, uh, in terms of being, you know, in terms of getting the pain relief, I know a lot of a lot of docs have had some that have still have pain. I think that will be decreased uh, with this new design. 